Laddie's channel in my little fish room again. I had a few questions on the last video about Jade Perch update asked me what I was feeding them. So I thought I'll show you what I'm feeding them two or three times a week and have a little talk about it. And it is duckweed. So this tank here I've been going for about two weeks since I've taken it off. Uh, Lemna minor, apparently the botanical name of uh, duckweeds. Over 30 species of duckweed in the world, but this is the one I've got. So I'll grab a bit off the top here and give it to the jade perch over there. Just use my hand because I have many babies in here. And I give it to them two or three times a week. Hopefully they'll eat some of it, but uh, yeah, it's a big handful, and just put it in there, so they might, I introduced them to it when I first got them over two weeks or so, and um, they'll clean, you know, I'll grab another handful. Also feed them uh, pallets that are designed for aquaponic fish and flake food as well. Will we have another? We're probably not going to eat it because Lanny's there. They're not used to Lanny. So anyway, I'll have a quick. I'll have a quick talk about why I use duckweed. Now I understand a lot of people like duckweed and a lot of people hate duckweed. And I get that. If you've got a beautiful aqu aquascape tank or whatever and you don't like duckweed, fair enough. I'm not saying what's right or wrong, I'll just explain why I use it. I have 11 tanks and a few divided in with, you know, matten filter, Japanese matten filter, my own style of matten filter. So I have 16 working areas basically, and I run duckweed in all of them. Some of the reasons are, it's really good at keeping your water quality stable, great to take out your nitrates, great, I'm, been in the hobby over 40 years, so I'm not saying what's right or wrong, I'm just saying from my own experience and why I do it in this setup I have. Okay? It's great. Now I only do guppies and platies and catfish and the jade perch to eat, which are omnivores. So instead of throwing the duckweed handfuls on the garden every week, I now can utilize a bit more in the room, give it to the perch. It's great for the perch because it has 25 to 40 percent protein in it. And fish, the best thing for fish is variety in their diet. So it's really great. I raise guppies now because that's what I can move. But it's great for the fry. They can hide. The fish feel secure. It's really good. Uh, water quality it'll grow in a huge range of temperatures from 6 degrees Celsius up to 33 degrees Celsius it also helps with water evap evaporation in your tanks and it is a good early warning thing once you get to know duckweed a little bit you'll be able to just look at a tank and say if the tanks healthy by the color of the duckweed if you see a change in the duckweed, then you know. Because it'll grow really well between 6.5 and 8 on your pH scale. And I love it. I reckon it's a great thing. I have it in every tank, as I said. Even the display tank in the lounge room, I have duckweed on. Because I have one species, guppies and catfish in there. And even though it's a display tank, it's still sort of a working tank. So for those who asked, 
that's what I feed them. You can see all these tanks here Land's looking at. They all have duckweed on the top. This one, this one here, this one here. They all have duckweed. And I understand a lot of people don't like it, and I get that. But from my point of view, it's really good. Like, I'm running what would be considered overstock tanks in this, all of these tanks all the time basically and it helps I can I do water changes 20% about every 10 days on average but you've got the flexibility with the duckweed it's really good so hopefully they'll start eating a bit of it but they're not because they're not used to landing in the thing but all that duckweed there they will grab a bit more they will knock that all over in two to three days. We've got many here now. Many what? There's a lot now in your bag. A lot of what? Black weeds. Yeah. So oh, you can put as much as you want in that. They'll knock it over quick. Mm. Two days. So two, three days. I'd give it to them twice a week, sometimes three times a week. And just clean out. So there you go. So thank you very much. I hope that answers some of the questions. They are a fast growing species. But now because they're omnivores, I'm just utilizing more in the room. So I'm, I get a lot of people don't like duckweed. There's a lot of ways to do everything in this hobby. But for me, in my situation, I think it's one of the best things in helping keep your tank stable and great for raising fry great for everything except if you don't want it in your tank but I get that because yeah, over 40 years of experience and I find it works for me I like it very much so thank you very much subscribe if you'd like to notification for updates even have membership now maybe but anyway and you can be a guppy or a platy or a goldfish or a koi but anyway, up to you. Thanks for watching and I hope that answers some of the questions people were asking. Bye bye. See you next time. Thank you.